Good morning. Today I'm going to show you guys uh, how to upload your picture onto Desmos and then how to start tracing over it, all right, so we can get the artwork on Desmos for your project. Um, first thing I'm going to do, you hopefully already got your picture uh, uploaded onto your computer. Um, so I'm already in Desmos, as you can see here. I got a couple of equations. These are a couple of your equations that will be your friends. In fact, I got this one up here, which I've also put on to, for you to see on Google Classroom. Um, these are a couple of the equations that are going to be your friends, especially the line uh, and ellipse, I think, are the two you're probably going to be using. I'm going to be focusing on these two. All right, parabola we can use as well, um, but I'll do those probably individually with you. But lines uh, are going to be big, so. So anyway, back to this. First thing I'm going to do is I'll put the picture on, okay? I hit the plus sign there, add an item, and you can see I got choices. Image is the one I want. It's got to be an image that you can see. Um, so I had a PDF which didn't work, but I had an image, uh, this one's called Sam, and I'm taking that image, all right, and I'm taking it here. If I grab the middle of it, I can drag it up. I'd like it to be in the first quadrant of my graph, okay? Now, you don't want the, it to be like that where it's, uh, I want to drag it and make it bigger, all right? So I'm grabbing the corner and I'm making it really big. I'd like it to go up to, I want on your projects for it to go all the way up to 200, in each corner, all right? So I'm gonna stretch this out and then I can move this as I like. So you can see I'm getting closer to my 200 goal. It could be more than 200, but don't make it less than 200. All right, so that goes up to like 225. Okay, so there it is. It's on, I got my thing there. This is your uh, icon where it shows what it is. You could probably change it in here too if I wanted to change the width, but I do like just usually grab it, drag it, drop it, okay? So there's the image. Now I'm going to try to start tracing the image, all right? And uh, I'm just going to start with a line here. Uh, you know, if I have, this is the, the equation I like to use for a line, okay? This M is the slope. There's two blank spots. This is the Y coordinate for the um, line. And this is the X coordinate for the line, uh, for a point that it goes through. So let's say I'm trying to get, um, this simple line right over here. I'll make this vertical line. I'll hit that one, the top right one, okay? Uh, so let's see, that line goes through the point 200 and, uh, what's that, what's 220 and is the X coordinate and the Y coordinate of that point at 220, uh, looks like about uh, 210 up. The height is 210. Okay, so and my slope of that line, this is positive slope going up and to the right. If it was going down and to the right, that would be negative. Uh, so I, I can just kind of guess here. Let's say it's two. All right, so not bad, although my something's off with my coordinate here. What's up? Uh, it's way to the left, so I would like it to move more to the right. So I need this X coordinate to be more. Looks like I messed that up somehow. 220, maybe this should be 240. Oh, much better. How about, and there's some trial and error. 242 looks pretty good. Uh, my slope is a little bit off, not quite two. Maybe it's uh, 1.9, 1.8, 1 1.7. Uh, that's pretty good. 1.6. That might be about as good as it gets. All right, now here's the problem. The problem is that line goes on forever and ever. So what you want to do is you need to use these big, fancy um, brackets. It's all about the fancy brackets for this, okay? Now, the x-coordinate we said uh, is, we, it begins, I want the line to begin here, which is about uh, 225, maybe? I'm kind of, I remember, I can, I can, I can, I can change it. So x is greater than 225, and it's less than, uh, where does the line end? Looks like right about there, it was about maybe 250. And then the fancy bracket closes it. And now you can see I got the green line, all right? Now my, my line is definitely a little off. I'd like it to uh, move up a little bit. So I want it to start later than 225. So maybe that it's 229, 228, 229, 229 looks perfect. 
like it to go a little higher, so maybe not 250, but 252, 253, and there's my line, and it overlaps it, okay? And if you want to change the color, <clears throat> you can change the color as well. Uh, there's a way to do this. Uh, and I'm going to come back to how to change the color. All right, so if I wanted to do an ellipse, maybe I'm trying to do part of his eye here, right? Um, I got, there's a couple of values over here. So with the ellipse, I change H and K are the left, are the center of the ellipse, okay? Ellipse is like a circle, but it's like an oval. Uh, B is the height from the center, and A is the length from the center, and you got squareds on these as well. It always equals one, or usually it does. So I'm going to go back over here. Uh, let's see. So I want I already put this part in. I just put, let's say I put uh, X is the distance to the right. So it looks like the middle of his eye is, uh, this is going to be a tricky one to hit too. I'll try to just do that. And that looks like about 140. And the height of that eye is about one. It's also about 140, huh? Okay, that's cool. And equals one. And there's my ellipse, okay? Now you can see you can play with it. If I wanted to make it uh, wider, I can. Um, so let's see what happens when I change the 100 to a 10. It gets, whoop, gets much narrower. If I make it, you know, 1,000, then you can see it gets wider to the right. So that's what happens with that value. If I want to change this to 500, it gets much taller, okay? Uh, maybe I make it 49, and you can see it's like that. All right. Uh, if you want to do, if I want to change the how far to the right and left you see of it, you know, maybe I only want to see the right side of it. Again, it's the fancy brackets, puts a restriction on it. Uh, say X only goes between 140 is less than X is less than, uh, make it go up to 150, put the fancy bracket on it. Boop. And now you can see I got a half an oval over here, all right? Uh, if I change this, this will be interesting. If I change it to a Y, then I would get the top half. That could be happy, uh, interesting as well. So you get the bottom half of that I, all right? So that's how I play with the ellipse and the lines. But the lines, you know, we ask you to do mostly linear graphs here, all right? So you might want to <laughs> make modifications slightly there, okay? Uh, but we could do parabolas as well. Uh, you know, I got the parabola equation over here. There's exponential growth and decay. I can show you those as well. But this ought to be, get you going on this, all right? Uh, and there's a couple lines in there. Uh, ask me in class how you change the uh, colors on the graph. Oh, did I just do it? There, there it is. I hit the uh, settings button, and then I can choose what color I want. Blue, all right? You can change them around as you want. Look at that, and hit done, and then again, it's the edit, and that allows you to change the colors however you like. All right, uh, if you want to try to make shading stuff, you can do that as well. Instead of having the equal sign, do an inequality, oof, and then you get some shading, all right? Uh, or you could go the other direction, and you make shade below, all right? Either greater than or less than, instead of an equal sign. Anyway, I'm not gonna mess with that too much right now, I just thought I'd put it out there. All right, there you go. Good luck. Enjoy.